Right now at noon, a frantic search is underway in Mexico to save a little girl buried under concrete and other debris. She is trapped in the rubble of a collapsed school building. And that surge has since become a symbol of hope that others could still be rescued two days after an earthquake rocked the country. Good afternoon, I'm Rahel Solomon. And I'm Jim Donovan. The magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck near Mexico City on Tuesday afternoon. Correspondent Chris Martinez is there with the frantic and delicate search for more survivors. A rescuer shimmies into a crawl space at a collapsed elementary school in Mexico City. Then with raised fists, other rescuers ask for silence so they can listen for signs of life beneath the rubble. They're trying to reach a little girl who's been talking with them and wiggling her fingers. This rescuer told a reporter thermal cameras indicate several other children are also inside. Dramatic video from Wednesday shows two students being pulled to safety through cracks in the debris. Tuesday's 7.1 magnitude earthquake killed more than two dozen people at the school, most of them children. More than 50 survivors have been pulled to safety throughout the region, but it's a race against time as soldiers, police, firefighters and citizens dig through the debris. Mexico City remains a dangerous place. Nearly 40 buildings here have already collapsed. At this building behind me, crews say they're trying to prop up the remaining bottom floor with blocks of wood because they fear it could give way. Guadalupe Salinas Riojas says her 26-year-old son is still inside. She and her daughters have been camped out here since Tuesday. You are hopeful that your son is alive. She says she has faith that he's fine and she'll see him again soon. Mexico's president has declared three days of mourning. Chris Martinez for CBS3 Eyewitness News. Now some incredible video from Mexico shows a road appearing to breathe after the earthquake hit. You can see the people running by are too terrified to cross. Experts say when an earthquake shakes the ground, it sometimes creates holes under what seems like a solid surface. Those holes then fill with air or water, creating the breathing effect.